Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, cool Pluto Channel, and uh, today guys, I want to face the horrible, horrible truth. The dress watch is dead. The dress watch is dead. And uh, I, I gotta tell you, I wasn't quite prepared for this, but uh, it's been, this is the reality, we are in the new millennium, we're in the new millennium. And if we have a look at the market wrap up, what's going on with wristwatch prices on the used and new markets? Well, guys, it's quite, quite, we live in interesting times indeed. The two big brands are Rolex. Rolex is uh, very much, very much in demand. Steel Sports Stunners. Steel Sports Stunners and Patek. <laughs> now the amazing thing is, is that when you say Patek Philippe, you normally would be thinking of Calatravas, Complications, World Times. Well guys, the hottest Pateks now are the Nautilus and the Aquanaut. These are two sports, Patek Philippe's and Patek has actually put the price up because supply and demand those nasty rules of economics have gone ballistic so the whole wristwatch genre has changed we've really changed over time um <clears throat> patek themselves have increased the price up to 30 percent on the nautilus uh 5177 51 five seven one ones impossible to get long waiting list five seven one twos very very hard to get aquanauts very short supply it's really quite amazing what has happened is the uh, sports watches sports paddocks crazy 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 they've gone ballistic and I think this is the change in genre. We no longer are sort of black tie sort of people. So even when we go for our fuck off luxury watches, we want sports genre and DNA. And I gotta tell you, this is, this is the reality that we live in. The reality that we live in. Uh, Rolex, Rolex Steel Sports, Wells is what's happened there. We've got a situation where supply and demand, you go to any AD, anywhere in the world, Australia, Asia, America, Europe, England, and there is a major shortage of Steel Sports Rolex Stunners. They have very, very limited stock, long waiting lists on these pieces. The only steel sports watches that an AD may have, they may have the occasional Explorer 2. They may have the occasional Milgauss. And maybe the occasional Explorer 1 if you're really, really lucky. No date subs. Uh, the Hulk. Batman. The Daytona. In steel, you just cannot get these pieces. It's very, 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 very hard to get supply. They've, uh, it's a complete change in marketplace. In the 80s and 90s, the date just was a big seller. Now, what's happened is it's all the market education sports, 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 sports. Dealers are selling. Rolex steel sports watches for a big premium. A big, big, big premium. Things like the 43mm red Sea Dweller. Big expensive watch. Backlist, backlist. James Cameron, backlist, backlist. Uh, Daytona Batman, backlist, backlist. Even things like the No Date Sub, which was something that... Um, It's just a classic case of Rolex watches. It's hard to get that. You can't get, you can't get a simple Rolex sub. 
And this is what's happened. The whole market has gone to steel sports watches. The same thing has happened with Paddock. Um, other brands, unfortunately, haven't been so lucky. We've seen um, Tudor. Tudor is in store. So Rolex makes sure Tudor is always there. More affordable pricing for the... Um, lower middle classes okay it's a very very interesting wrap up of the market what i think you got to do is if you are after a dress watch you're really best to get uh, a dress watch which has some sporting ties now let's take a look at my current, my current, fuck you, fuck you watch, which is a Patek Philippe, <clears throat> well time, Patek Philippe, well time. So the best thing about this piece here is that it uses a case which is very, very sporty. We are using a 37 mil case, so it's not midget size. And take a look at this. It's got crown guards. Crown guards. This is a really cool thing. The interesting thing with the Patek Philippe um, World Time is that the replacement model, it doesn't have crown guards. Prices of the new Patek Philippe, that's the 5230. Once you get that into the second hand market, it goes foomp. Whereas prices of the 5110 and the 5130 are going up because they are sporty based. They have crown guard protectors. Crown guard protectors. So that is a wise way. If you've got to get a dress watch, what would you do? The other thing you I would strongly advise you to do is is you want to, if you're picking a dress watch, try and get one which has a very, very sporty history. The uh, case in point is a Reverso Grand. This is my Reverso Grand date. So this was originally a watch for polo players, the officer class in India. These were troops in India who were hitting, hitting the polo they wanted a wristwatch which wasn't damaged when they were playing sports. Sports, old chaps. So how cool is that? So yes, if we listen to the watch snob, uh, we could say that the Jaeger Culture Reverso is a very, very cool dress watch. Yes, but it's got a sporting history. So even though it is a, uh, a dress watch in a modern context, strong backbone of sport. So that really is a cool, cool thing to go for. I would also say if you're staying out of, say, Rolex, which Rolex is really quite high prices, I would try and get, if we're getting a, a smart businessman's watch, like normally a date just, or, you know, going into an ingenuer, you want to get one that is characteristic. This is by ingenuer here. It's no crown guard, very, very important, which has got the anti-magnetic cage wrapped around the movement. So it's quite thick. It is a monster. It's a monster. It's a monster sports watch. So to to wrap up there, the big thing that has happened is that the um, the traditional dress watches. We're talking, you know, <laughs> the traditional dress watches. Even in the the nineties, the eighties and nineties, was thirty three mils. Well, that is dead. Dead as a dodo. You cannot give away 33 mil watches. I don't care what brand it is. You just cannot. Audemars Piguet, uh, virtually unsellable in the 33 mil size there. Also, 36 is questionable. Uh, I had a Royal Oak. I had a two-tone Royal Oak, 
which was a quartz two-tone Royal Oak from 1996. <laughs> uh, 33 mil, again, completely that... Get out of it! Get out of that stuff! 33 mil stuff, ooh, it's terminal. Get the hell, get the fuck out of that small size there. You want to go, in my opinion, you want to go at least 37. 37 is now the smallest size for a dress watch. Um, that's that's what you really want to do there. Um, the other interesting thing in the whole wristwatch market is that we've got a duopoly. We've got Rolex and Patek Philippe. Okay, they have waiting lists, they have long queues, they're very, very strong in the steel sports genre for both bands. Also in the two-tone, it's, it's the sports two-tone is still, that, that, that's, that's being, that's taking up, that's filling the, 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 the slack there, the, the, where people demand is so high, they'll settle for a two-tone bluesy instead of a steel sub. Um, brands like IWC completely gutted. The brand is just, it's just really, really, it's bargain time for IWC. Uh, Jaeger Le Coutre, which I love the brand. I love, it's, it's a Hort Horology brand, a magic brand. Fairly soft, fairly soft, uh, in the marketplace. Um, you, you're seeing brands like Breguet, they're, very, very hard, very hard resale. Uh, but if you buy cheap enough, it's not the end of the world. If you buy a Breguet used cheap enough, so what? So what indeed? Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, the Squatch Group with Omega, you know, you would normally say, oh, Rolex Sports would be in demand and so would Omega. But no, Omega is so... Flat as a tack. Flat as a pancake. Flat as a pancake. Uh, very, very. <clears throat> Amiga is, is part of the Swatch Group. They've had a lot of financial pressure. They've been flooding the grey market. Flooding the grey market with Speedmasters. And um, there's a price for that, that dirty trickery called uh, Discount. Discount. It's, it's really hurt the... Um, the, the, the resale on a lot of these brands here, Omega, Omega has really, um, they, they, they've really, they've shot themselves in the foot. That's what they've done. They have shot themselves in the foot in a quest to keep sales momentum going. And um, I'm sorry to say it, but, but, but Omega is, ooh, it's on the nose. Just very soft indeed. Brightling, oh, Brightling is soft. Brightling soft, um, very, very soft. I mean, this is the thing is you can walk into a Brightling AD, Brightling AD, an Amiga AD. They've got every fucking model in stock. Every fucking model is in stock, ready to go. But Rolex Steel Sports, no, 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 no. Patek Philippe, no, 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 no. So it's certain brands. It's just, it's a comp very, very hard market indeed. I would say myself, the dress watch is dead. 33 mils. Do not consider that for a man. That is absolute terminal dog shit. 33. Now, there's some great watches out there. They've got great movements, great pieces of horology. But fuck, 33 mils is really fucking small in today's, today's industry. It's just, um, it's just unsellable. You cannot give any, you're just, it's just fucking... It's got to be very cheap. It's the only way anything in that size sells. Whereas, <clears throat> go back to the late 90s, 33 was quite acceptable. That's the, the perfect size of a dress watch. It was, it was high horology to make something as small and intricate as possible. So, uh, this is the sharp reality that it is. The, wrist, the uh, dress wristwatch, completely dead. It's fucked us. It's had it. It's gone. Um, I'm Paul Pluto. This is the Paul Pluto and the Achi Luxury Channel. Tell me what you guys, tell me what you guys think of that. Oh, guys, I forgot that. I forgot to tell you guys, I stuffed up one of my video ads. Mmm. You know the ad I did for Crypto Trends? Well... 
Sorry, just a bit of depression eating. Depression eating. Anyhow. Mm. The ad I did for Crypto Trends, I advertised it as Crypto Trends 2018. It's just Crypto Trends, guys. I made a mistake. Cut me some slack, would you? Crypto Trends. Go and check them out, guys. Crypto Trends. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel, and my good friend Tanzillin, Tanzillin, answering super chats, it's not about the money, it's not about the money, I feel like I'm doing my passion, Tanzillin, simply the best, and uh, he's got another one for you here, how's this, uh, it's uh, not about the money, it's not about the money, it's uh, my passion, Shitling on time. Simply the best. Now, guys, I got to tell you, I struggle to survive full time on YouTube. Please look in the description below for 10 ways you can keep me full time on YouTube. Guys, I really need your help. Please consider getting a paid, paid video review. I'll do a review on any watch, any question you want. Guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. You can sponsor me for as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month, and that just keeps me going on full time on YouTube. Guys, you could also, I do phone calls. Phone calls, you can talk to me for an hour on the phone, Skype or WhatsApp, for 50 US dollars. Guys, I really do need your help to stay full time. Ben cannot survive on Google Ads alone. Please help me. Please help me stay full time on YouTube. And guys, don't forget that it's not about the money. It's uh, my passion. Shakling on time. Simply the best. Tanzillin, thank you. That's a sponsored bit from Tanzillin. I can do that for $150 a month if you email me directly. Look below for my email address, guys. Yeah.